what am I going to miss most about Year 12? I think most definitely my CAPS class. Um, these girls are, are beautiful. They got me through the whole year um, coming back after having busy. A lot of our time in class has been a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, but yeah, I'm definitely going to miss the girls because they're just such a special bunch of, of ladies and um, I wish them all the best in their HSC. So kill it. My first memories of you guys, well you guys are the first year group that I've known from kindergarten. Um, the quiet year 8 mass class that I had that turned into monsters on the netball court and for a grand final of the football. Um, what I'm going to miss the most, I think, having known you guys from kinder through the year 12, you're the first, as I said, year group that I followed all the way through having a sibling or a daughter in that year. Um, you're such a great bunch of kids really matured into fine young adults that I look forward to seeing your success in the future because I know some of you are going to post YouTube videos that I'll no doubtly see crop up um, and see you drop around for dinner on occasion so good luck guys and all the best. What I will miss the most about year 12 is um, the laughter. I think every single lesson we had a laugh about something stupid, usually a story of some description either mainly Riley or myself, um, and also my mentor girls who we just got together and ate uh, and ate and talked a bit more and then ate. And everyone seems to think I'm expecting a baby, but it's actually just meat slices from mentor babies. I'm going to be having a really small chemistry class because I'm so hopeless they couldn't do it. Chemistry is really easy by the way, don't listen to it. The one thing I'm going to miss most about U12 is their laughter. Everyone's laughing everywhere. More often than not in my classes sometimes, but definitely the laughter is what I'm going to miss. It was actually year 12, because when I had them in year 10, I couldn't wait to get rid of them. And then year 11, I didn't teach them, and I was a happy man. Then I got them back in year 12, and I actually liked people then, so I'm going to actually miss them. Being a drama teacher, uh, one of the things that I suppose I don't get a lot of is having a bit of man love in my classes, but my year 12 English class, there is an unhealthy amount of man love in that class. There's hardly a boy in there who hasn't given me a hug at some point in the last year and a half. And I'm not really a hugger, so it's been a really, really interesting year. But I'm going to miss those guys. They've actually really given me a, a different, different relationship with the class to what I've had with any other class previous. So the thing I'm going to miss about this year group uh, is about their, their contribution to the sport program. But it's not just their physical abilities, it's just the humans that they are. So you've got the girls like Courtney, Sarah, Georgia and Emily who have been as part of the netball team for a number of years but also in basketball, softball, any type of sport you know they've always got their hand up. Um, but as I said before it's more than just their sporting abilities, it's who they are. They're very caring, very passionate, very genuine human beings and I'm really proud to be associated with their journey here at the college and it's going to be really difficult to see them um, not here each day because they have been such a positive part of my life seeing their warm smiles every day. Okay, so what I'll miss the most, uh, you're actually going to have to come back and ask me that next year because I don't know what I'll miss the most yet because I don't miss you at all yet because you're still here. Um, so please, you're welcome to come back and say hello anytime and then I'll tell you what I miss. If okay, the thing I'll miss the most about this group is probably their optimism and glass half full approach. Before the exam, a week before, they haven't started studying and they're all like, it's fine miss, don't worry. And just always relaxed and have fun, happy, positive. I will miss the year 12 Fletcher boys and their heartfelt good mornings when I come in to greet them in pastoral in the morning. I really miss my mentor group. Chelsea, Ebony and Travis. My year 12 PDH, 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 PDH class and especially the game that we play each day which is me trying to guess who's upset so that I don't say anything to make it worse. The thing I'll miss most are uh, you kids being really close. I'm going to miss the meetings. I'm really, really going to miss the meetings with year 12 every lunchtime. I won't know what I'm going to do with my lunches from now on. I think what I'm going to miss most about this year 12 hospitality class in particular is um, the fact that a coffee or a hot chocolate is a way to get through any session, any time of the day. Probably their smile on their faces and uh, how they're on time all the time, um, how they never get cheek and 
just mostly the men around. Great bunch of kids and great students and uh, ones you can really have a joke with. It's really good. That's probably the main thing I remember, you can have a little good joke with them, knowing that they'll give it to you and give it back. Uh, the outstanding contributions that Caleb has done and also Ty uh, in rugby league over the years. Um, both of these boys have, have a, had a wonderful impact on my life here as a teacher at the college. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time with them, um, especially Mam, the biggest guns in the college. Boat one, school captain. Where I'll miss the most will be study habits in my year 12 classes. Not. I will miss the most about year 12. Obviously my year 12 standard English classes and they have been unique experiences to say the least. Um, I'll miss the fact that I have to ask where's Jordan every lesson. That's going to be something that I miss. I'm going to miss Jono and his weird ways. I won't deny that, that he has always um, been a little bit different to say the least so I'm going to actually miss that. I'm also going to miss uh, just how unique they all are and how individual they are and it's been good to watch them grow up and really turn into nice young adults so I'm confident that they're all going to do well in the future and basically I'm just going to miss it too. I'm going to miss having someone in my class whose nickname suits them perfectly. I'd certainly miss spending Saturdays with Maddie Anderson and Brent Eldridge. We've done that a couple of times. Jordan Dishtel as well. I, you know, I've always appreciated how um, understanding he is and how much he's willing to hear both sides of the story. And you know, he, he's always been one of those kids that doesn't you know, just resort to arguing with you every time that you have to tell him something. In a general sense, I, th I think they've just been a terrific year group. Like, they've certainly um, contributed in a whole range of ways, and I'm not going to single anyone out. There's been a stack of kids there that have really made a difference to this place, and I, I congratulate all of them. Okay, what I will miss about Year 12 is all of them, because basically I teach them a lot, and they see me a lot, and they The one thing I suppose I'm going to miss more than anything with Year 12 2014 is I'm going to miss them.